Good morning. Hello. And thank you for joining us for our, what is this, third or fourth? I think this is third. At least our third Steel City Comic Con. It is December 10th. And sorry, we're trying to walk and talk at the same time and avoid all the cars. But it is December 10th. We are not wearing jackets because I hate wearing jackets inside. So we're just hustling here, trying to get in. It's about 40 degrees right now, so it's not too bad. A little rainy, chilly, but we are excited, right kiddo? Yeah, we just binge watch Wednesday, so you can see the bounding situation on her. <laughs> anyway, Mal, Hello. top person you wanna to meet today? Steve. Steve Burns. I know it's crazy, right, of all the people, but he is like, my childhood. He's Molly's childhood, but he's also kind of like the Mr. Rogers of 2022 and 2021, right? He's my judge. <laughs> Everybody needed him so much, <laughs> Steve. So we're going to try and say hello to him. We're going to show you around, show you all of the um, vendors, see who we can talk to. And next time you're going to see us, we'll be inside. All right, take two. What is the first thing you do? You grab one of these papers. Yes. You grab, it's like the official guide to where all of the stars are going to be. So the whole, well, not the whole, but most of the National Lampoon's cast is going to be here, including Chevy Chase. This is just, oh. Dustin. We're so excited. Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. Sean Astin. Yay. Beverly D'Angelo. Jennifer Grey is going to be here. She's from Dirty Dancing. I love her. Billy Zabka. Karate Kid and now Cobra Kai and of course Steve Burns. Mr. Steve, Steve Burns. Paula Abdul? Wow, Thora Birch? Yeah. For your information, he's a little eager. Oh, you said it. We'll see how many times you can say it today, right? Several. All right, let's go. Let's go. Didn't we see him last year? Wasn't he here for the December Comic Con? I swear. I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. But. Mr. Grinch with a, what, like a hydro pack on his back? That a boy. Okay, kid, just just to get your bearings, just to get everybody's bearings. If you've never been to Comic-Con before, where are we standing? Right now, this is, um, I, I guess, like the merch section. This is all the vendors. That's where you first walk in, yeah. Right, and then if I turn around slowly so I don't make anybody nauseous, this is the refreshment stand one. There's another one over here. And then as you walk through, yeah, there's more vendors, but not as much this way. Right, and then where the celebrities and all of the people signing autographs um, and the panels are down this way. Oh, this is awesome. I love the hat. <laughs> Naughty, that's fun. They're very festive. All right, it is busy today. Let's see. Everybody's waiting for Christy Brinkley. So you kind of Sanderson, Jackson, Wellington. Chris Sarandon. Right, right. Jackson. Oh, Wellington. oh my gosh, he's the voice. He's yeah, not the singing because Danny, Danny Elfman. Elfman. But oh my gosh, yeah, no. All right, let's take a look around. Who else do we have? Billy Zabka. John Hatter, you know who he is. I'm gonna do anything I want. God, Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. Uh, Lex Luthor. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze through. Excuse us, guys. Let's see if we can squeeze through here. Edward Furlong. I see his voice. I see John Hatter. Is he here? He's not here yet, but look, somebody's dressed up as nice. Napoleon right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fun. Vicky Lawrence. There's Paula out there. Steve. Steve gets has the cool corner booth, man. I know. And then Paula Abdul. Right there. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's people dressed up as magenta and blue. Oh, he's here already. He's totally here already. All right, see if I can zoom in and see. There he is. There's our Millennium Mr. Rogers, right? <laughs> Look at him! Oh, that's so exciting. This is as close as we get. I'm happy. Uh, I want, oh, sorry, I'm paying attention to Steve and not the camera. Anyway, there's Steve. Thank you. 
Hi, Mr. Burns. Hi, how are we on camera? Very right well. Now? Yes, we are. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, Hi, they've everybody. given me permission to film. For, we're doing a YouTube video for Steel City Comic Con. Oh, how cool. are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. How's Pittsburgh? You know, I haven't seen a whole lot of it yet, other than the hotel and uh, this convention center. But I've been here before and very much enjoyed it. Well, I, we are excited to have you yes. here. I have dubbed you the official Millennium Mr. Rogers because you have given people so much joy the past couple of years. You know, I can't take that. He was... Uh, no, he's my childhood hero. Take that too, as a compliment. And I, <laughs> I know it's a compliment, but he was on a whole other level. I know, but you Truly gave us... The, a whole other You level. gave us the same warm fuzzies as he did. So thank you for that. Thank you. We no, needed that's, that. That's lovely to say, but I, I cannot... I cannot compare myself to, to Fred. Okay. He was, we'll compare he was you to a somebody singular else. being on this earth. I will definitely <laughs> say, as a kid who grew up with Blue's Clues, you were definitely like a Mr. Rogers to me. Well, that's so sweet. That's a, What's your name? Molly. Steve. Oh my gosh, the official fist pump. Oh, no. Okay. And hearing your voice in person is very surreal to me because you were in the background for us. You were in the background for me, but you I taught like her so much. Like, I can sound like Steve, but my voice is really deep. I know. Like well, I have. Life, I have even. You know, blues because I used to lose my voice. We have even followed your career since you did Steve's webpage dot com. It's oh been that goodness. long. When you, <laughs> well, that's as good as it gets for this. Yeah, I, I can die happy now. He gave you a fist bump. I know what I'm saying. And his voice does sound. He sounds just like he does, doesn't he? <gasps> I'm never washing my hand again. So what do we do now? Like, that was, like, my that was my goal. <laughs> and now what? Should we go and make it to vendors? Because I have goosebumps. Yeah, like, seriously. Yeah. He, he made my day and yeah. he's so nice in person. <laughs> you never know what it's going to be like when you meet a celebrity, but he is a genuinely nice guy. He's Steve. He's Steve. All I around. Got Steve friends. So, okay, what do you want to. <laughs> I don't even know if we can top that. We can top that. Because the gentleman. <laughs> from Nightmare Before Christmas. The voice actor of Jack Skitlington. I didn't even know he was here. So you're going to lose Rachel. your. <laughs> If you get to hear his voice, right? I will. So maybe we'll do that. But maybe we should go look at some vendors. Yeah. Anything. Look at yeah, some vendors need, to calm down. I need to calm down now. We need to calm down after that. So. <laughs> All right, let's take a tour around. Let's go in that room too because there's always some fun artists and things. Let's do that. All right, so Molly needs to calm down for a minute. So we're going to head into this third area where a lot of the um, artists. What? It's Jenny Reese. Mom? Oh my god, it's Ginny Weasley. It's Bonnie Wright, who is Ginny Weasley. She's gorgeous. This is amazing. Okay. All right, so back here. We were just given permission to come back really quick. <laughs> Mrs. Ellen Griswold and Ellen Griswold. So they're going to be right here. So this is where Chevy Chase will be, and he's clear in the back. And then over here is going to be Beverly D'Angelo. But neither one are meeting, so we're going to swing back and try and get them in a little bit. But look at the line, guys. Can you see? Wow. Okay, sorry for like all of these cuts, guys, but that is Christy Brinkley. And look at her. Oh, yeah, she's still absolutely gorgeous. Do you do you remember National Lampoon's Vacation? No, no, no. Um, do you remember when they go to Wally World? And she's the one in the sports car that comes up next to Clark and is like no, that, enticing him. That I don't. Oh, all right. Well, there's another one. All right, we're in Artist Alley. Let's see what we can find. So you're gonna find everything here from like hot sauces to handmade jewelry and people selling their books. And of course, lots of cosplay stuff. Um, wow. I recognize him. I recognize him. He's very nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A Pittsburgh legend. Oh, these are pretty. Mr. Locke has his ears pierced. We could just get him dice, right? And boxes. Okay, we are in the back of the room right now, and this is where you come if you don't want to wait in line to get pictures because these are all these are autographed like previous and previous cons as well. So you're gonna find everybody from hi, you're gonna find everybody here that you weren't able to find. Hey, there's Nev Campbell, 
Who else can we find? Oh, oh no, I don't want to see Robert England. He scares me. No, it's not Robert England. It's not Isn't that Robert England? Yeah, but it's yeah. not. Yes. And just like everybody. So come back here and swing by if there was somebody you missed at one of the cons. Um, and then, of course, take a look up here. These are these are old. Look, James Reamer, we met him. And I will again, I will link that down below. Who did you find? My uncle. Oh, Fester. Oh, it's nice to see your relatives up here, Mom. <laughs> Let's see who else we can find. Miyagi Do Karate. This is from the original Karate Kid. The geek showing hair at the Middle Earth. <laughs> nice. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. How about yourself? Beautiful work. Thank you. Of course. Oh my. Trying to be very still with the camera here so I don't make your eyes woozy. Oh wow, Mal. Beautiful. Hello. Wow, I see John Lennon over there. That is really impressed. The wands. I feel like we're in. I'm a dinosaur. We're in Bounding Alley here. I'm a dinosaur. Cosplay Alley. I'm a dinosaur. Oh, you are a dinosaur. Look at the dinosaur stickers and the. Those are really cool. I saw a sandworm one over here whenever I walked in. Sandworm? Sandworms. You ate them. Sandworm. Oh, just the Christmas decorations. Did you see that? Yes, the very best. Wow. What do I feel like I want to do? Gosh, well, he's here. I know. Ooh. Hey, Death. How's it hanging? Good. She is here. Oh. Data. Data. He still looks the same. Oh. Next style. Wow, that's awful sparkly. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, I remember him from last time. Oh, this is a quiet aisle. No. <laughs> I'm not turning the camera off because that's amazing. Okay, good. I like that one too. Wow, these are beautiful. Thank you. Cat in black. Do you have any questions about any of these? Just let us know. Thank you. Wow. Really beautiful work. We're going to kind of go out through the indoor here, but we are going to start back up at the front now and take you through the main vending area because there has to be, what, maybe 50 different aisles several, um, of, of merch and food and, oh god, I hope the ice cream people are here today because I enjoy their ice cream, so cool. And then if I see any really cool costumes, I'll go ahead and... Um, Hit the record button. All right, just get your bearings. This is the entrance, and look at the people flooding in. Holy cow! But we are heading down to check out the vendors because this is one of the best parts of coming. Don't you agree? Let's check out all the fun stuff. Hi, how are you? Oh, I remember these patches. They're fun. Yes. Sam. Um, yeah, chocolate. Wow, this is actually affordable. Look, chocolate dip Oreos, three for five. Pretzels. Do you want a pretzel? Are you hungry? No. Bacon. One of those looks good. And the Rice Krispie treats look really good too. Check. That's a good one. Oh, the original poster for Hocus Pocus. Oh, mom. Pirates people from last time. I tend to like this side of the vending well, over the other, don't you? Like this is a lot of the antiques. Mm -hmm. And like the actual like collectibles. And... Like collectible cards. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. That's so gorgeous. Look at these. I like the keys. This section right here is definitely one of my favorites because it's all the replicas. Andor Blaster from Rogue One. Alan Grant's Fossil Claw. I like all the Never-ending story rock biter. Oh, that's really cool. <gasps> the mommy key. I want that. Would that be your master's thing? Yeah. Anytime, guys, if you see us out at one of these, please come up and say hi because we love talking to people and we love, I, I want to know why people are here because everybody has a, a different reason. But yeah, come and say hi. Okay, Molly just spies some candy. <laughs> I swear, you remake Danny's candy, <laughs> don't you? Yes. Oh my gosh. So there it is. She's actually here today. Yes. Um, but look, that is her chocolate. Even though I haven't even had a piece, I have an OD. She did. She lied to her parents. But this is it right here. Oh my gosh. Well, that just made my day. <laughs> wow. Oh, you don't have full shoulder and catch Wow. Oh, I see Dory and Mickey and Mickey. So fun. Oh, here's the tattoo place. Are you getting a tattoo today? Is today the day? Maybe. <laughs> okay. So you can either choose from what they have here um, and, or walk up and you have to sign in, right? You have to make an appointment because it's really, really busy yeah. here. Yeah. But these are some of the samples you can get. That's awesome. I love that. See this one? Should we get tattoos today? Should today is today the day? Maybe. <laughs> chocolate moon chocolate. There's a line, so we'll just peek in. Still have my eyes on the ice cream. Is that like a mini tree skirt? Mall it is. That would be perfect. You need that around your tree in your room. Yes, ice cream. I know I just had breakfast, but mall ice cream. You want some? At the moment, I'm good. But okay. This I love. One, you're not allowed to say no. Oh, Pittsburgh pierogies. Those are awesome. What's your favorite one? You're not allowed to say no to ice cream ever. Remember? Yeah, I remember. After we eat lunch, ice cream. Hey, it's Bumble. Hi, guys. He's leaving. Why'd he leave? Didn't he like us? <laughs> Yoda. You're Yoda. bounding. What are you do Who are you bounding us to? Um, I, is, I am Ada Wong from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, you are. Oh my gosh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, is that the, is that a musketeer? Is that Santa musketeer? Uh, it's a pirate. He's got a parrot. Okay. Ooh, that's really beautiful. Hi. Oh, mall. Those are really fun. <laughs> I am making a beeline for the post-mortem people because I love their stuff. Is that what's that say? Bat squatch? He won't buy that. Ooh, I actually like that one right there. That one's really pretty. Yeah, these guys love their booth. Love their stuff. Oh my gosh. They have the best stuff here. Oh, Donald. Look, it's Donald Duck as a devil. Perfect. Look, did you see the tiki's? Look at all those. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Hannah Mansion. Look, 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 look. It's like glow in the dark. Wow. Oh, Ma, this is fun. This looks like the um. The bag you made for Mister for his uh, frog, dice, yeah. his frog. Yeah, it's a kind of plushie. Oh, I like that. Final girl. I like this one very much. Spirit board poncho. Oh, you guys have the best Christmas tree every Thanks. time. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, Mal, do you see? Nice. I know. <laughs> he is an angel, isn't he? <laughs> Grossly misunderstood. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> well, I like it. I, I enjoy that. 
Is that wrapping paper? Yes. Is that like Marauder's Map? No. No, it's not the Necronomicon. Oh my gosh! It looks like you've wrapped your present in the pages. That's amazing. Oh, Dracula so Bites. Good. Cereal. We were told we had to read the side here. Bloodlust. Daylight, undead, weird, boring ingredients. <gasps> It's attention to detail, man. It's all about the detail. Oh, there's like, more. Necklaces. This is beautiful. I don't even care what it is, what it represents. I think it's just gorgeous. Oh, did you see these? These are really pretty. Oh, no. I love it. They're normally about 200 because they're 14 hours long. See how they dance? Sorry, I had to swing that around because, oh my god. Dragon scales, dragon scales. Exile. M is for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a busy aisle. Wow, beautiful work. Hello. Yeah. Oh, nice. George Romero. Fudge. Fudge. Oh, Foxtail, Dark Fudge Panther. Oh, I like how they named them after characters. And mm, Butterbeer. And a puppy. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? You can try anyone you want. What kind would you like to try, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe Foxtail Fudge. Foxtail, sure. Okay, I'll do the galaxy, please. Oh, Thank you. The galaxy. Tastes like fudge. How's yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Funko you can handle. Ooh, moonshine. Moonshine. The one and only time I drank moonshine? Uh -huh. I was up all night throwing up. So we don't do that anymore. And that was like two sips. Oh, cool. Oh, I remember these guys last time. It's like pink and black. It's me. Let me put a face on first. Eel oh, you need this. Eel bag of witchy. Bleep. Nice. Like oh, the, good glasses. Uh, no, I like those. No, but they have the cult of the lamb plushie. He's so cute. That's adorable. Bleep, bleep, bleep. But these are amazing. That. I like this one. Death. Mom, there's your witch hat. Oh, yeah, I was looking at these guys. Yeah. And so those cute. Are cute. Oh, yeah. What does that say on it? Collective? Okay. I don't know that. Sam. Sam. Aww. All the cute little. Oh, it's Pook. It's Pook. Right there. Mr. Buddy. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, they have fun stuff, don't they? I don't know what that is. That's just like a. It's like an altar cloth. Okay. That makes sense to me. My Dr. Ian Malcolm badge. No? I don't, no, I'm not seeing it here. I'm not No, no, but I own one. Where is it? It's not in the car, is it? Or maybe it's the red car. It's in the other car. Mm -hmm. I need to grab that. I love 80s horror. That is a great patch. Oh, it's flower. And Buzz and Woody. Anything here? I like the Boba Fett one. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really fun. Okay, we're in the back on the other side now. It's a little less crowded, and this is like a shortcut into where we showed um, all the like artist alley. And stuff. Artist alley. Yeah, where they have the um, autographs and things. That's a good one, Maul. Beanies. I know. That was fun. I, we didn't get on camera, but we did get to meet Tom, and he is a super nice guy. Oh, wow, Maul. I want to go to you can. the program. You can. I know. Oh, I, I know. know. Oh, my gosh. We, we just met Mr. Savini back there, and I ha honestly, I was just like, um... Yeah, Mr. Savini, sir. I don't even want to say to you. He's such an icon. It's hard to it's hard to speak to him. Right. No, I understand. I was the same way when I met him. Um, 
um, I was 14, I got on an elevator and he was there. And I was like, oh, the dog. Mr. Savini, sir? Yeah. Yeah, he's so not like that. He's so nice. Have a good day. Yeah, I do enjoy. Woo! Oh my. Oh, appealing to my inner moth. Right? So sparkly. Fun. Oh, Sage. Okay. Here, I'll turn it. Ooh, I love the spoons. So pretty. And this is, I don't know what the name of this booth uh, is. Flora and Folklore. We don't have our sign. That's okay. Flora and Folklore. May I? Yeah. Thank you. It's actually a magnet, so there you go. Ooh. <laughs> I may then. Twice as nice. Thank you. What else is fun? What else is appealing to my inner moth? Ooh, that. <laughs> This and Christmas. Dream time. We have to wear a mask for Chris, and I totally get that. But Mall, my other hero is Mall. Your other hero. So, if I just take them first, so you have more time. Please, no, please. So, um, if you know anything about Nightmare, right? Tell us who did the voice versus who did the singing. So Chris did the voice, Danny Elfman did the singing because he was absolutely adamant that he was the singer after writing all the songs. Right, and he was like, I am Jack, so, um, but Chris. So he was like, I don't care who you get to voice him, I'm just singing. Yeah, he's doing all the songs because, you know, he wrote them, he put his heart into it. So we are actually going to talk to Mr. Sarandon, he has been kind enough. And Molly, do you have a question for him? Think, think, think ahead. No, I just want to hear him talk. <laughs> well, he yeah. sounded like Jack. Yeah. That was really cool. He was such a nice guy. We asked him a question. We asked him a question about how much he collaborated with Danny Elfman um, on Nightmare Before Christmas. And what did he say? He said he, the really only collaboration was that he had heard the songs beforehand. And then he was like, okay, so that's what Jack sounds like. Yes, we kind of used it. Danny Elfman's voice to figure out his character. And then, how long did it take for him to film? Two years. Two years, because he did 11 seconds of filming a week. Mm -hmm. So they would, they, he would record for like all day, different variations, and then they would film, they would do that animation. And then, 11 yeah. seconds a week is all they would have, so. Thank you, Mr. Sarandon. He was a true, true, amazing person to die to. All right, on we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you even do more than this? No. You met Jack Skellington. Yeah. You met Steve. I'm good. Holy cow. Okay, next up is John Hedder, Napoleon Dynamite. Now, first time I saw that movie, I was like, is it supposed to be a comedy? The second time I saw it, I was like, all right, I get it. And the third time has just been quoting it ever since it came out. So we're going to ask him a question, see if we can get a picture with him. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny is I quoted him when we came in. What are you going to do today, Molly? Hi. Hi, John. I'm Karen. I'm actually doing a YouTube video working with Steel City Fun. How are you? It, uh, first of all, I have two questions for you. Shoot. This is Molly, by the way. Not a question, but a sidekick. First one, when somebody recognizes you, what is the one quote you always hear from your from your movies? Does anybody ever just shout out Hold anything? On. Okay. My lips hurt real bad. Okay. I understand. Yeah. It, is that the quote? <laughs> oh, oh, does that sound like a quote? Dang it. <laughs> no, um, I. Most of the time, people are just like, "Give me your some of your, give me some of your tots." Okay. The problem is, is I love tots. As so do I we. Think they're serious, and I'm like, "Get out of my life! I'm Get starving." Out of my life. I'm and then I'm like, "Oh, freaking starving!" Quoting the movie. And, I'm doing it again, right? Yeah. I fell into character. Yeah. My second question is, "What are you going to do in Pittsburgh today, John Hedder?" Uh, I'm just going to keep <laughs> hanging out here. You're here all the weekend, fans are right? Crazy, and they're unrelenting. Well, that's exciting for you, right? It's great. It's so great. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Thank Pittsburgh you for... Pittsburgh is coming to me. We are. John Hedder, everybody. We're going to grab a picture. This is the craziest live photo ever. It is, right? We did. This gets better. Every time, this gets better because I'm at Napoleon Dynamite. I'm at Steve from Facebook. I'm at John Scott. And Steve. And Steve. Oh, and Steve. 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 Okay, so it looks like a lot of the actors and... Um, celebrities are going on lunch break. So we're going to do the same thing. Have a little snack and, and we'll be back. Okay, I was going to eat, but this is the family truckster with the wood paneling. Or I guess it's a recreation of the family truckster. Oh my goodness. Hey, Ma, ice cream. And then 
there's more. Yeah, um, the banana one and birthday cake. There's Mall's bananas with Reese's peanut butter cups. Must be birthday cake. Yum. We are at one of the coolest places in Pittsburgh Scare House. And I heard you guys actually have like a creepy Christmas thing going on. Do you know us? Um, tonight and then next weekend the 16th and 17th we are open for our creepy christmas event oh and what entails a creepy christmas event it is our haunted attraction with the holiday twist so creepy elves spooky holiday stuff it's all good that's <laughs> right up my street oh my gosh and then whatever you want and they just look the way he looks at you is just like yes we'll destroy all those things i've got the claws for it now let's go in the ice cream. motion Shall support we? honey badger i'm yeah. not mad so we joke that he's an esa oh he's precious hi okay guys and with that we are done ice cream delicious extra little squirt of what peanut butter in there mm -hmm. so what did you think of this December's come on. Busy. Very, very busy. We normally come on Fridays, guys. We just couldn't do it yesterday. Um, my suggestion is if you're not a huge fan of crowds, come on Friday. Much less crowds. But if you want to see everybody here and you and you like, you know, feeling like a salmon upstream, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying there's a lot of people here today, which is great. Um, also, I am come on Friday. Because you wouldn't have seen Steve. Oh, no. I will happily read through the crowds to see Steve and oh my gosh John Hedder, um, Chris Sarandon, ah oh, so many good celebrities it just keeps getting better and Christy Brinkley if you see this please tell me what you use on your face because good lord she's got to be close to 70 years old and she looks like she's 12. So having said that guys we are officially out thank you if you have hung into the end of this video another huge thank you thank you for watching please give us a thumbs up if you like us and you want to see more of our steel city comic-con content go ahead and subscribe to this channel because we try and be at every one at least one day out of each right anything else you want to share with the class <laughs> did you just <laughs> That one was a powerful vision. <laughs> what was your vision? That we're coming back in the spring. Yes. <laughs> thank you again, guys. Leave us a comment. And, and thank you to everybody who, who actually came up and said hello because that was so much fun to meet all of you. We, we enjoyed every second of chatting with you and learning about what you like. And until the next one, guys, we are out. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. See you in 2023 at the next Steel City Con. Bye. It's Mrs. Claus, everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. Thanks for coming to Comic Con. Thank you. Would you like a candy cane? No. Would you like some bowl? I know you have a naughty, but it's chocolate. It's rare. You're being very kind when you say that I haven't. From my knowledge, my husband is the one that makes the decisions, but. Wink, wink. No, thank you.